on to the next hand. The lodge is happening right now. 18 tables all filled up. And, uh, you know, big news. The lodge, hopefully by September 1st, will be in our new spot. Just three doors down. Same shopping center. So you won't have to reset Are they going to take the walls down and just make it one big no, room? No, no. It's a whole different room. So you're moving the whole room to that big, yep. where that play land is? Yep. So we'll play, uh, we'll play up until we'll keep this room open. So we'll never have... A hand, we'll never, no, never go dark. But so, uh, Keep oh, this uh, open, and then we'll switch it, everything where over. Where everything is right here, is, uh, is that just going to be empty? Yep. Yep. So you're taking that whole big building and the whole... Yep. That's where, where a big 18,000 square feet of oh, trampolines were. Now all the trampolines are out of there and just an open space, ready for us to put a bunch of poker tables in there. Jack six, deuce, rainbow. Pair of kings for... Pocket pair for E with his kings. Jack yeah. for Pete. This is an interesting hand here. That, I mean, uh, you know, he, he C bet Jack do six. Uh, I, I like, you know, I like to see bet here. And the Jack 10 over calls, which, which I have no problem with. I like it here. Um, yeah. Boots yeah. with a six, pair of sixes. And it, it's, a, it's an interesting dynamic that comes up here. Um, turn curve comes a nine, which is a blank. Uh, he goes check, and I mean for him to bet in the two people here, it just I, I just I don't think that Jack Ten is any good. But it's very interesting what he bet. And he bets pretty big too. He bets like what he bet three hundred, three ten, yeah, three fifty, like three fifty over to Pete with. And, and top listen, pair. The, the, the board's you know got a diamond draw. I mean, it's pretty dry. Um, so he either has a, you know, chances are he has an over pair or he's, you know, or he's, uh, if he's bluffing, chances are when he calls here, he's just, uh, just never good if he bets it. Like, it's just one of those dynamics where you know, I, I don't even mind the call on the turn. Or, but I, I, seven. The river comes to seven. And he makes a pretty big bet here. I think he bets like eight or nine hundred. See if I'm right. Pocket kings for E. He's going to win this hand as long as he stays in. He's reaching for a plum. He's going to make it, looks like, 800. The man from Canada with top pair, 10 kicker. Yeah, this is... Um, I mean, this, this is really a, 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 it's just a fool, and um, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's a tough spot, I mean, it, but he can't beat anything, he can only beat a bluff, I mean, it did come jack, six, deuce, rainbow, and he fired in at two people, right, and he bet the turn, and he's a tight player, right. You know what right, I'm it's not right, like right, he's a guy right. that's in there splashing. It's, it's not like, like Jason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. And uh, he ends up, yeah, he did call. Him. Calls. He's gonna and, win the hand with the Kings. And uh, he he gets so mad at this call here that uh, that's what he does. He picks up his chips and racks up a quick. Oh my goodness. He fucked it. He looked. He, he, he look at what he did. He went. Yeah. He hit his hand and he, and he shook his head because. Well, he knew I mean, he, exactly what you were saying. Well, he knew. The thing is, is he's actually a pretty good player. Excellent and, player. And uh, he knew he was beat. Right. And he, and he called. And, and, you know, I respect that. You know, this is, this is a sign of a good poker player. Yes. Because, listen, when you make a bad call, yeah. you know. It, Instead it, of, you, you can easily go on tilt. It's, yeah, you go on tilt, and, and you just say, How, why would I go up? You just tell yourself, well, why would I play another hand after that? I mean, right. I, you know, I, I know I was beat. It was, you know, I made this bad call. And that's a disciplined poker player. Because I tell people all the time, you don't have to be, have an A game. You could have a C game. Right. That don't tilt. Right. And you have great money management. You play a hand bat or two, you get up and quit. You lose a buy-in or you lose two buy-ins, you get up and quit. And those people are going to win more than a guy that has an A game and an, and an F game. Right. You know? Because, yeah, there's great players, you know, but there's also, you know, you, they tilt, you know? And, uh... Yeah, so I, I, I even said I was very I was very impressed that he picked up his chips and quit there because I would have done the same thing.